la 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 la. Yep, I never get tired of that song. Open those bright eyes. Cool song. Well, speaking of cool, we are going to take a look at the latest offering from Pingai. It's this is going to be a look at Pingai OS version 1310. Now, Pingai has been around a while here for a cool uh, for a few years. A cool distribution. When I'm, now, what I mean cool, meaning a little bit more on the friendlier side if you are a uh, beginner to Linux or have been have been tinkering with Linux for a while or if you are coming from a Windows environment and wanted something something a little bit more or less puzzling a uh, little bit more friendly more complete out-of-the-box solution ping iOS is something that I would put on your list at least to try it out now let me go ahead and play this here a uh, couple things with this this is not a final it is a beta final or final beta. Now you might be thinking, hey Toss, duh, if it's a beta, how can it be a final? Well, distributions, some Linux distributions are released every six months. Not enough time for a fully polished system, but if you want uh, bleeding technology or you know, bleeding edge latest technology, then you want to take a look at something like this. And the uh, LTS long-term support are released every two years, which you will find this in the next version of 14.04. .04. So that being said, Pingai is correct in labeling this a beta 2, and that's as far as it can go. It's polished, but maybe not as polished as an LTS. Anyway, what we have here are some wallpapers, pictures, and colors. Uh, I I tried downloading, I downloaded, I downloaded some screencasting software to try and do this all at one clip with voice. It didn't work. Uh, you know, here, here we are almost 2014 and yet there is no standard, you know, Linux uh, screencaster. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Toss, you want a, a standard in Linux? <laughs> All right, shut up, Toss. Um, yeah. All right, uh, date and time. Now, this is based off the uh, current GNOME 3 or GNOME shell desktop environment. If you are wanted to take a look at GNOME 3, uh, the, the standard GNOME shell, and wanted something friendlier, you definitely want to take a look at this. Uh, when this came out, when this, when GNOME 3 first was was released, about the same time of Unity, I picked Unity because I found out to I found out I found that to be a lot more friendlier, uh, at least for me and probably for beginners. But this is a customized GNOME 3, and Ping Guy's done a pretty good job on. Uh, navigating on working on the uh, customizations to make a new user make it easier to navigate as you see here through this operating system so again if you are coming from Windows you may like this better than Windows 8 and now this is going to be as polished as it gets uh, I tried running this inside a virtual box it did not play nice it kept freezing up but I ran this off a USB stick and it ran much much better so if you wanted to try this uh, even though it is a beta, this is probably not something I would use on an everyday uh, production machine. Uh, you may want to try running it off a USB stick, or maybe if you have a test machine, I think it's perfectly suited for that. All right, now, this GNOME Tweak tool is going to be your best friend. Let me say that again. This GNOME Tweak tool where you can customize the GNOME 3 environment, this is going to be your best friend especially if you are coming from Windows. One of my favorite extensions here is the Gino or Gno or No menu. It's a No menu, give me the yes. But this will customize the Start button as a worthy menu button to make it easier for you to navigate to various pieces of installed software versus the standard GNOME 3 hot corner or activities menu. So make the GNOME Tweak Tool your best friend. And make sure you study it because there'll be a quiz tomorrow. No, no, I'm just kidding. But definitely try this if you are coming from a Windows environment and wanted to tinker with Linux, more of a complete out-of-the-box solution. This is something I would definitely consider. I do have a spare laptop. Uh, I may even install this in, um, and run it as a dual boot environment alongside my uh, Windows 7. But definitely check this out. It's polished enough, I believe, for a, a new user to check it out and stable enough you know, that to run this off a USB stick or 
if you have a spare machine. So that being said, check out Pingai OS version 13.10.